ahead of the six runner field and they're off away they go first flow on the inside out wide is Hewick McFabulous solo in contention dropping off these fantastic lady taking a lead early and El Dorado Allen at the back of the field El Dorado Allen who made a lot of the running when running at the Grand National meeting last time Hewick and first flow over the second Hewick snatching over that one from first flow third is McFabulous solo Brani Frost the new rider on solo replacing Harry Cobden and then El Dorado Allen the grey and fantastic lady the mare who ran so well in the Topham at Aindry. Halfway down the back straight for the first time. And Hewick, last year's Bet365 Gold Cup winner on the outside under Rachel Blackmore of First Flow and David Bass. Solo towards the inside, McFabulous, Solo's stable companion. Jumping the first of the three railway fences, El Dorado Allen is out wide and then Fantastic Lady at the next. Hewick just from first flow, the last of the three, and this time first flow up with an extravagant leap there, and first flow leads to Hewick. Solo close up with McFabulous, and in between those two is the mere fantastic lady, and lastly, El Dorado Allen. Turning right handed, and on the longish run now towards the pond fence, and Hewick is back in front again under Rachel Blackmore. From in second place, first flow with McFabulous for company on the outside, and the other three in a line, working out from Solo to Fantastic Lady and El Dorado Allen. Hewick comes to this one. Over. All jumping well there as they now round this turn. So it's Shark Hanlon's Hewick and Rachel Blackmore leading the way as they head back towards the grandstand with first flow in second a good jump by the first two there solo on the far side McFabulous followed but then by Fantastic Lady and El Dorado Allen on now to an open ditch the outside part of this fence in front of the stands before the run in all safely over again and it's Hewick that leads the way by a bit more than a length of first flow. Solo on the inside, McFabulous is close up, and then Fantastic Lady and El Dorado Allen. Racing up the hill, just a, a medium pace throughout, perhaps. There were a few potential front runners in the field, but uh, one or two of them being ridden differently today, and it's Hewick that leads from first flow, McFabulous. Solo, who made all the running at Kempton last time, back on the inside, followed by Fantastic Lady and El Dorado Allen. Heading now down the hill to fence number 11. Hewitt, Rachel Blackmore, willingly giving interviews and having a photograph taken before racing. First flow on the outside, Solo, Fantastic Lady, jumping this one, Hewitt, very quick there. Uh, McFabulous probably wasn't so quick away from that fence but they're closely grouped together as they now turn into the back straight two plain fences followed by another open ditch coming up Hewitt by length to first flow coming in to take this one Hewitt first flow bold jumping oh Solo made a mistake there Solo made a mistake fantastic lady goes up on the outside they jump the next and Hewitt very awkward at that one Hewick and McFabulous has been pulled up. They now jump the open ditch and over. It was first flow this time after Hewick's very awkward jump. Fantastic lady. Solo on the back foot after that blunder. El Dorado Allen on the outside. Halfway down the back straight. And it's first flow is opened up by about four lengths now. First flow to Hewick. Fantastic Lady, Solo trying to recover, and then El Dorado Allen. Back to the railway fences then, David Bass on first flow. Over in front, Hewick, maybe a bit closer again there, from Fantastic Lady. This is five out, first flow up and over from Hewick. Fantastic Lady, then El Dorado Allen, and Solo is just dropping away a little bit now as they begin the run out of the back straight. Solo looks at beaten now, and it's first flow by a couple of lengths to Hewick. Then Fantastic Lady and El Dorado Allen, and Solo being pushed along by Bryony Frost. 
as they make their way back towards the third last, the pond fence, and it's first flow that leads the way, this evergreen 11-year-old, very smart on his day, first flow out in front, David Bass, never say die, rider from Hewick, challenging now under Rachel Blackmore, and on the outside, fantastic lady going well for Nico de Boinville, they're followed by Eldorado Allen over the third last, first flow on the inside, it's uh, just in front from Hewick in second. Fantastic lady and El Dorado Allen as they turn now towards the grandstand. Two fences left to jump. First flow far side of Hewick. Hewick and it's first flow by a bit more than a length. But Hewick getting closer now. They're coming under pressure. The favourite followed by Fantastic Lady and El Dorado Allen. First flow on the far side of Hewick. They're going to jump the last together. Hewick a bit away to the right. Goes towards first flow. But now Hewick strikes the front. It's Hewick that goes on from first flow who comes can't respond, then Fantastic Lady and this hugely improved chaser, Hewitt, driven clear by Rachel Blackmore to win the Bet365 Oaksy Chase in second first flow, third Fantastic Lady and fourth Eldorado Allen and Solo was pulled up. Grand Grand Rachel, you're getting massive applause. You're so popular here. It's great to have you winning on Champions Day. Oh, look, it's great to be here, and it's great to be uh, teaming back up with Shaq for another another winner. Um, he's so good to me in the early part of my career. He's the reason I'm riding as a professional today, so uh, it's brilliant to get to team up with this lad today. Um, it, it's Jordan Gainford who should be sitting here, so he's out of action at the moment, so I'm just subbing in for him. <laughs> but what can you say about this little horse? I mean, he's got such a following, and he's only tiny, but my guy, he's got a heart. Oh, it's just it's an incredible story. Uh, incredible what Shaq has done with him, and, and Jordan as well, uh, bringing him along. And, yeah, great for his owner, TJ, and, and all of them. It's super, and I'm just... Uh, Delighted they asked me to, to, to ride them today. Well, you're going to get some reception. Well done. Lovely to see you. Thanks, Alice. And this fairy tale with you, it continues, Shark. Yeah, it's unreal, so just, um, I'm thrilled to have Rachel on board because she started with me, and it's a great way to go then this year with a winner with her. You know, she's a great girl and um, fair use to the horse. Just I was a little bit afraid after attacking him up that I hadn't given him enough. I, I didn't do an awful lot with him, so chatting him. We just popped him the one day, my own son, Paddy. As a matter of fact, we pop, popped him in the car one day um, with the horse that came down and they got hurt in an entry and he jumped real and I left it at that. But I was just afraid when I attacked him up. He looked better than he ever. Tom Malone said to me, he's a shark. I never seen him looking as well. And I was just hoping that um, I had enough done with him because I didn't, after Cheltenham, I gave him 10 days off there after the fall. But listen, that's, he's some tough horse. He really he's did. unreal. Like in a gold cup, he, he, he was running a cracker, so he was. And I don't think he was finished in the Gold Cup because he comes off the bride like he did today, came off it, and then he just takes off again. So, but listen, I'm delighted to have this over. Um, just very quickly, where, where in the world is he going to take you next? We've got to be very quick here. He could take me anywhere now. I have a little thing in my mind. I'm not going to say it yet, but um, I, t I think I'll end up there in his next run. All right. Well, All we right. can't wait to find out where that is. Well done, Sean. <laughs> Thank you.